Hi, I'm Richard Rose, president of the Atlanta NACP. We're standing here at Stone Mountain, Georgia, the largest shrine to white supremacy in the history of the world. All over the news today, we see that there's a big lie. The big lie is that uh, Donald J. Trump claims that the election was stolen from him. But actually, the really big lie is about Stone Mountain, is about the Confederacy. The really big lie about the Confederacy that the Confederate States of America was formed because of states' rights, because of tariffs. But in fact, the Confederate States of America was formed in order to have a country that maintained African chattel slavery. So where did they get this idea from? They didn't have to go far because there was already a precedent. The precedent was Texas. Texas was a part of the country of Mexico, which had freed itself from Spain in 1821. And in 1829, the governor of Mexico said to those landowners in Texas, you have to stop this slavery. It abolished slavery in all of its territories, which included Texas, which was really North Mexico. And so what Texas decided to do in 1834 was to separate itself. The landowners got together, brought arms to an army or, or a rebellion, and they decided that they must separate from Mexico using the Rio Grande as its southern border in order to maintain the institution of African slavery. So the rest of the southern states didn't have to go far because Texas had separated itself in order to maintain African slavery. It joined the Union under the premise that they could continue enslavement of Africans in perpetuity. In perpetuity meaning the father, the sons, the wives, the daughters, and their sons and daughters. And so Texas joined this Confederate States of America. They were one of the first seven states that seceded from the Union in order to maintain chattel slavery, in order to maintain institutional slavery based on race, period. The only rationale was race, and that was that they claimed that Negroes, that Africans were inherently inferior to white people. So the Confederate States of America didn't have to go far. They had seen a president and they adopted this president. That is the big lie that continues today, perpetrated by the sons of the Confederate veterans, by the United Daughters of the Confederacy, and at Stone Mountain, Georgia, the largest shrine to white supremacy in the history of the world.